So just the other day, I was thinking to myself that I should refresh some of my basketball gear. I love the gear that I currently play in, but I was just thinking like, man, I've been playing in this gear for a while, and you guys know me, I'm really picky about what I play in. Maybe I should just refresh and restock on some of the gear. And just when I was thinking this, the good people over at Point3 emailed me and they said, yo, we got some new gear and we made some changes to our old gear, some upgrades, is it cool if we send you the new stuff and tell us what you think about it? And I said, sure, why not? So fast forward a couple of days, boom, we got this package. So today, we're gonna be unboxing some new basketball gear. Now, if you guys have been following the channel, specifically my performance reviews, you guys know that pretty much most of the gear that I wear comes from Point3 Basketball. Here we got a little thing right here. This is a company that makes products specifically made for basketball players. And I think that's pretty cool because basketball players are pretty picky in what they wear, like myself. We got a little card here from my guy, Miko. He says, Jaren, enjoy the gear. Look forward to the content. Now, like I said, most of the gear that I wear in my performance review is from Point3, and I just really enjoy their stuff. So let's see what we got here. Let's start with this T-shirt, which is looking pretty vicious. Okay, this is a pretty clean shirt. Obviously, it says Point3 Basketball, Feed the Beast, and it's got that crazy graphic, which is also on the back here in a little simplified fashion. But, you know, this is a shirt that you're gonna wanna wear if guys in your gym aren't passing you the ball and you just want to get some shots up, you know you can make it, you know you can contribute to the W, you just point at your shirt and you say, yo, feed the beast, baby. Point three, let's do this. But yeah, guys, this is just a basic black graphic tee. There's no technology in this product that'll help you play basketball at a higher level. Unlike point three's other products like these right here, I think these are some three-fourths leggings. Yeah, these are three-fourths leggings, which I really like. Now, this is a little bit thicker, and in my opinion, a little bit more durable than other basketball tights out there. As you can see, there's a lot of seams there, and I just feel like it provides a more durable experience. A lot of times when I hit the floor in my tights, you'll get little burn marks or holes or something like that. That has not happened to me with the uh, .3 leggings, and they're also very comfortable. Now, in my opinion, they're just a little bit thicker than I would like. I like a little thinner experience, but like I said, the thinner it is, the less durable it is. These are more durable, so maybe if you're someone who wants to keep your leggings looking clean, you don't want holes in them, or you just feel like you want a thicker legging, the other ones are too flimsy for you, these are going to be the leggings for you because like I said, they are extremely comfortable and they're very well ventilated. As you can see, there's some targeted areas in the inside of the leg, in the crotch area. There's a lot of targeted areas for ventilation and obviously on the back here. So it's gonna help you feel drier and more cool out there on the basketball floor because we all know when you're out there getting buckets, it gets kind of hot, it gets kind of sweaty, and these leggings are gonna help you feel more comfortable while you're working hard out there on the hardwood. All right, next product, let's see what we got here. Ooh, I think these are my favorite basketball shorts in the entire world. No joke, guys, no lie, I love these shorts from Point3. Now let's see what we got here. Okay, they're a little bit different nowadays. These are nice, they feel a lot lighter then my other shorts, and they're in black. You guys know me. My basketball fit is a Uniqlo basic white tee and the Point .3 basketball shorts. Now, what makes this short special is it has this drive technology on the side of the short, which is a towel material. So when your hands get sweaty, you just wipe your hands right here and you're ready to grab the ball and take that next shot. I know it sounds like a gimmick, but more often than not, I find myself wiping the sides of my short. And when I'm not wearing point three shorts, I find myself still doing it and missing the fact that I don't have towels there. So I love these and these feel a lot lighter, a lot thinner than the previous generations of shorts. Is this the drive? 3.0 because the ones I have are the 2.0s, but these are super slick. The towel area is smaller, so that's obviously going to reduce weight. But then you have this pretty large cut right here. As you can see, the little triangle with the point three logo, that's going to help give you more range of motion. It's not going to restrict your legs. I really like that. And like I said, they're so light. Man, these are awesome. And yo, check this out. This is what I love about my basketball shorts. These have a 
pocket in them. I don't know about you guys, but I just want my shorts to have pockets. For whatever reason, I like it when I'm done in the gym, grab the wallet, grab the phone, put them in the pocket. Some gym shorts don't have pockets in them. I'm not a huge fan of those, but man, these are easily going to be my new favorite basketball shorts. I haven't even tried them on yet. If they're anything like the 2.0s, I'm gonna love these joints. Now, speaking of the Drive Baller 2.0 shorts, I think these are a new colorway of that short, the previous generation, and it's in this Tiffany teal colorway with some gray and some white. Now, let me grab the other shorts. Now, the first thing that I notice is the band area. The waistband area is a lot thinner, a lot more low profile on the newer version that this, that's this black pair here. And the previous generation, it's just a thicker band, which some people might like that. So if you like a thicker band in your waistband, go ahead, pick up the Dry Baller 2.0s. But if you want a thinner, more low profile one, get the 3.0s. And overall, these just feel a little bit heavier than these. Whoa, actually, these are way lighter than the 2.0s. So look, it's a little bit different for everyone. These also fit a little longer, as you can see. It's a little bit of a longer short. These are a short, short dynamo. We all know the short shorts are coming back in style. Hopefully, we don't get John Stockton too short. But Short shorts like Bronny James, his shorts are getting pretty close to John Stockton level and the Dry Baller 3.0s would definitely be the shorts that Bronny James Jr. would want to wear. Is it LeBron James Jr. or his name actually Bronny? I don't know. But yeah, those are the shorts. I'm definitely excited to rock those new versions. Now, the last thing we got here, I don't know. I think these are in updated leggings, I think. I don't know. Hold on. Let me check this out. Oh, looks like another pair of shorts. Okay, wait, hold on. What are these? Oh, these are the 2.0s, and this green one might be the 1.0s. No, these are the 2.0s. These are the same shorts. I think these are a shorter version of the 2.0s, because both the tags say 2.0s, but as you can see, the black pair is way shorter than the 2.0s with the green, but I don't know. They're both 2.0, but these are shorter. I don't know how that shapes up on their site, but whoa, the old ones look a little shorter. They might be the same size, but look, check out the towel area on the new ones. It is a lot more low profile than the previous generation, a little sleeker. I think this is my favorite shorts. They look a little bit different than the ones that I'm currently wearing. I think they made some upgrades. Like in my previous pair, the seam on the bottom where your legs come out of, the back was longer than the front, which I thought was an interesting design. I, I didn't really notice it. I just thought it looked interesting. But these ones have an even seam over there or, or opening or length or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, these, like I said, guys, these are my favorite shorts. Let's get all the gear on here on the table. I want to give a huge shout out 2.3. If you guys are interested in picking up any of this gear, go ahead and check them out with the link in the description box below. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos just like this. My name is Jaren Isberger. Having you catch you guys in the next one. Peace.